frogs every day, a raw diet. Uh, they're my breeding stock and uh, they're super healthy for it. So, uh, you know, I want to get on today and show you uh, how I do it. Uh, it's very easy. I've been doing this for 10 plus years and I have a uh, really easy system that has kept my dogs healthy over the years. Um, you know, a lot of new people will go uh, look into doing raw, but when they get through some of the websites and uh, some of the information, they just, uh, they get overwhelmed and they don't even want to try. So, you know, I thought I would uh, share how I do it. Uh, it's very easy and very affordable. Uh, of course, I have to, I can't feed the uh, uh, high dollar raw that is on the internet. Uh, you know, eight, nine dollars a pound, I, I just can't do that. I don't even spend that much on myself. So, you know, I stretch my bill, food bill with uh, chicken quarters and then I use low ridge beef uh, rolls. Uh, Blue Ridge Beef is, uh, I've been using them for 10 years, never had any problems. I like the rolls, the dogs like it. Uh, they've, they've never turned it down. So it's a good meat. Um, and, uh, you know, also I just wanted to let those new people out there know that if you're not feeding raw and you're watching this video and you're thinking about doing it, uh, but you're, you feel a little overwhelmed, I'm here to tell you it is not brain surgery. Uh, it's very easy. I don't do all the measuring. I don't do all the weighing. Uh, I just feed my dogs and I watch them. I usually, uh, as far as weight goes, I look for the third rib on an adult. Uh, puppies, I feed a, a lot, like it's almost just as much as an adult because they're growing and they use, uh, use all the food and the energy. Uh, I'm here to tell you that it is super easy and uh, you don't have to um, be afraid of trying. It's not hard to do. You don't get sick off of it. You just use the same uh, uh, cleanliness as you would in your kitchen when you're making your own family chicken or anything else, you know, raw meat. You clean up afterwards, you wash your hands, you don't stick your hands in your mouth with raw meat on them. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. Uh, none of my, my kids, I've had all my kids go through the uh, job of feeding the dogs. None of them have ever gotten sick from the raw meat or from feeding the dogs. So even a child can do it. Um, so let's see. Uh, you know, if you're feeding kibble, the best thing you can do right now is just stop and give them the raw. You, you don't even have to... Uh, uh, you know, transition them or anything. All the dogs I've ever had in my kennel, I have just, uh, I just start feeding them raw. It takes them a day or two to figure it out. And then after a day or two, they're hungry enough that they uh, figure out and their instincts kick in. They eat, they care for themselves. They're not gonna starve themselves. And uh, a couple of days of fasting is good for them anyways. Uh, and they just start eating raw. Uh, I give them probiotics and yogurts and different uh, different things that will help get their gut flora going. They, the problem with most kibble fed dogs is they have an unhealthy hey, they have an unhealthy gut and uh, they have tons of inflammation and diseases start setting in. Cancers, all different kinds of diseases will come in because of the and the inflammation is just the body's response to the toxins that are in the dog food. Uh, the, the dog's body does not recognize uh, the dog food as, uh, as real food. Now, of course, you know, dogs eat it and they live, some live very long lives off of it. Um, but they're not as healthy as they could be. And a lot of dogs are extremely sick from it. So if you have a healthy dog and you're feeding kibble, uh, kudos to you. And I hope your dog does stay healthy. But if ever, you know, the uh, inflammation or any kind of allergies start cropping up, that is a sign that there's inflammation in the system and the dog is getting sick. You can't do steroids. You can't do all the things that the vets give you to do. It just uh, it just masks or band-aids the, the problem and it doesn't cure it. You can cure allergies and you can cure inflammation.
elimination by changing the diet over to raw and uh, and helping the dog's body out with the, some some of the herbal remedies, some of the herbal blends, um, just to help their system detox and uh, and to calm the inflammation down that is causing lots of damage on the dog. So, uh, you know, th that's what kibble is good for. It's good for causing uh, inflammation and of course the vets, uh, they're not versed in nutrition like they should be. And they just, they'll just, just like a human doctor, they'll just give you pills, they'll give you pills, it's the easy fix. When it's just a band-aid, it's not gonna cure the problem. Um, so anyways, I'm going to just turn you around here or point you down towards the bowls and uh, and you can see what I do to feed my dogs every day and I'm also going to I give my uh, non-pregnant dogs or dogs that are, are not breeding I give them paracleans this is one of my herbal uh, blends it is my heart warmer this is what I use for all worms, heartwarming. It's also a great detoxer and will help keep yeast out of the dog's system. Uh, and then this one right here is, is for my pregnant girls. It's got all kinds of goodies in there that just really gives them plenty of minerals, vitamins, amino acids, you name it, it's in here. And it's all herbal, so it's very safe. Um, I make sure there's no herbs in there that are going to uh, hurt the puppies or cause any kind of, uh, you know, uh, pregnancy problems for the females. So uh, this has got like yeah, spirulina, colostrum, uh, olive leaf, all kinds of, all kinds of goodies in there. So, anyways, I'm going to turn you around and you can watch what I do, and then I'll come back and talk to you some more. right there let's see ah, there we go that bucket is 60 pounds of chicken quarters I get those from Piggly Wiggly when they're on sale I get them for 39 cent a pound and I grab when they're 39 cent a pound uh, as long as I can have the money I will grab 20 to 40 cases of it and and they sit in that big freezer right there uh, all month and just to let you know, I do sell the Blue Ridge beef. That's why I have such a big freezer. I had to become my own distributor because I use so much of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and most of my adult dogs will get two to three chicken quarters and then uh, one third or just a chunk of meat. Never had any 
problems with them. Eat it. So I just I just keep doing what works for me. Uh, now if your dog has a reaction to chicken, they sh they shouldn't. Uh, if as long as those are the puppies. The puppies I um, they shouldn't have a reaction as long as um, Go back to it. I have done this so long, I don't mind sticking my hands in the raw meat. I used to use gloves. And, uh... Hey, kitty kitty. Don't knock my phone over, girl. Uh... I just got over it, you know, because one, I'm not going to touch my face with gloves on anyways, and I'm not going to uh, do anything until I wash my hands. So it's all going to wash off. <laughs> Here. Here, Kiki. Let's see if I can find that one. Here. Here. She is right under the phone there. There's the kitty. She's eating her meal. She comes out here. When she hears the dogs barking, she knows it's time to eat. All right, girly. Here, scoot up. She's gonna get, excuse me. She's gonna get right, right there where the phone is.
my heartwarming and uh, just general. Health. And this is just for the dogs that are not pregnant uh, or not breeding. Now with the raw diet, I don't give heartworm pills because the dog's immune system is healthy. If the dog's immune system is not healthy, you probably want to give them heartworm pills, but and it's still, they're still getting heartworm even though you're giving pills. Uh, it's just a downhill snowball. But uh, I don't give the pills because my dog's immune systems is the is my focus they're strong they're healthy and if a heartworm gets injected into the dog's bloodstream the immune system will take over and kill that heartworm uh, so this is my heartworm uh you know i don't do nothing what i do do is the blend of herbs that kills all the worms including coccidia and giardia and uh and then feed them the raw they are they're super healthy dogs you don't have to worry about heartworm with uh animals that are here she is wanting more here take that um with the animals that are healthy and i used to take I used to take Rocky every single year to get him heartworm tested. We lived in the swamp. And first couple years, I'd be really scared that he might have heartworm. But he always came back negative. He's 10 years old now. He still doesn't have them. And that is the proving ground to me that uh, the raw food diet and the herbs work for the heartworm. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, and the heartworm pills, the heartworm poison is now so strong, dogs are getting sick from it, that it's even killing some. So, you know, you really, it's it's just a all around, and I'm, I'm putting it into the meat form, uh, not that they won't eat it, it's just that when I stack my bowls, I don't want all of the herb going on the bottom of the bowl on top. So that's why I do this. The biggest reason. But anyways, um, got a nice little meat dog. Uh, it's just an all around good move to turn your, just switch your dog over to raw. <laughs> I could just about guarantee you'll never see your vet again. Except for when you gotta give them rabies shots. If they have skin allergies or any kind of allergies, skin, uh, things wrong on the skin, it, it'll disappear. You just won't see it no more. Your dogs will get healthy, they'll get energetic, happy. You will definitely see a change. Even if you think your dog is healthy now on raw, you'll definitely see a change or on kibble. You'll definitely see a change in them when you switch them over to raw.
hot dog up on decks now. Here they are. Let's see if it. them soon. Uh, they are super cute, super nice looking pups. And then this is Penny. Hey, Pan Pan. She is going to have a litter by Alpha. And she is, she'll be due November. November the 9th is when I have her do. Here we go, baby. Mm. She's starting to show. Hey, Roxy. This is Roxy. Okay, girl. Roxy's crate does not have a deck yet, but we're working on it. Yeah, good girl. She is. Look at that dog, man. She is super nice. I guess everything's super now. <laughs> really nice girl. Nice Corsa. <sighs> so we're done now. I have picked everything up. Now it's all about the cleanup. So there, we're all done now. I've picked everything up and now it's just time for cleanup. And uh, get ready for tomorrow again.